Hi, I'm Captain Bob. Welcome to my workshop. I use models during my assemblies to help explain the history of rockets and robots. This big rocket, and that slowed them down just enough for the moon's gravity to catch them. And they went around and around the moon. And I finally made this. I start with how flight really began. Wouldn't you like to ride in my beautiful I explain how it worked with a demonstration. Okay, get under and take a look at where it is. Make sure it lands on your head. You got it. I talk about early rockets and quickly move to the Apollo program and showing how we got to the moon. What that rocket look like? Whoa! Now this was called the Apollo moon rocket and it was big. I also show them how they can make their own paper rocket with simple things from just around the house. And we talk about the fun they could have while floating in space. When I was your age, I thought it'd be kind of fun if I cut a ball and if I could throw it really hard and it would just go all the way around the earth. But you know what? I realized that if I threw a ball, I'd be watching where it went. It would go all the way around the earth and come around and hit me in the back of the head. <laughs> and now, on to robots. But sometimes, even robots make mistakes. I then use my models to explain how robots are used to explore the red planet Mars. I hope I can visit your school soon. The Rockets and Robot Assembly was wonderful. Captain Bob had everybody engaged. The kids were loving it. They couldn't take their eyes off Captain Bob. This is a wonderful assembly. I like the time that it too. It was really cool that he made this. Now that he did it, I might try it at home. Hi, I'm Jared, and I first saw Captain Bob's presentation when I was only five in elementary school. And when I saw that, it really inspired me to pursue what I'm doing now, which is electrical engineering at Cal Poly Pomona. Just click on the contact button at the top to book rockets and robots. Bye-bye for now.